Welcome to the homework. This is lesson 15, grade 2, module 3. As always, write your name first. We have some puzzles. How many boxes? Oh, pencils come in boxes of 10. How many boxes should Erica buy if she needs 127 pencils? Uh, this is one of those cases you could draw. You have to draw a math picture for this, right? We have to R, D, W, all of these because they're word problems. And it's really two W's because you have to write a, um, you have to write a number sentence and an answer statement. So you have to write two things. So first we're going to read um, how many does she, be, pencils come in boxes of 10 and how many boxes does she need for 127 pencils. Maybe you can just look at the digits and tell. Um, but if you draw the picture, you might find you have a different answer than you thought you were going to get. So since you have to draw it anyway, we're going to do it. We read it. Now we're going to draw it. So here we go. Uh, if you draw the boxes, you just draw a math picture. Just draw what it says there is. All right, there's, they come in boxes of 10. So there's 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, that's 100 pencils, that's 110, there's 120, she needs 127. So she doesn't have what she needs yet. She's going to have to buy another box of pencils. She'll have three extras, but she needs to she needs to buy. You might look at the digits and say, "Oh, it's 12." But she needs another box. These she needs these seven. She still needs these seven pencils. So she's going to have to buy a whole other box. She'll have three extras, but she has to buy 13 boxes. So if we're going to write the number sentence for this, could say we can just add all the tens together uh, or we could say you can write ten tens plus three tens equals thirteen tens that can be a number sentence. Or you could write, just make a lot of 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, 13 times equals 130. Uh, Erica should buy 13 boxes. And just check. It's, the, the question is asking how many boxes, and we answered in boxes. So just make sure your units always do this, because sometimes that's the hard part in these puzzles, is that your answer, the units for your answer, has to match the units that the question asks for. And this is going to be important as we go on in this, in this series of puzzles. Number two, how many pencils will Erica have left over after she gets what she needs out of the boxes. So this is, we already talked about this. She's got, she will have bought 130 pencils, right? And she's going to take out 127 and she's going to have three pencils left over. Right, we have the picture above already. We could draw this as a tape diagram also, and it would look like this. These are the pencils she bought. One hundred thirty. These are the pencils she needs. Almost all of them. That's one hundred twenty-seven, and then these are the ones. 
now left over. There's your picture. Tape diagram pictures are some of the easiest ones to draw. A lot easier than drawing a lot of tens. So we need our answer statement. Erica will have three pencils left over. How many more pencils does she need to have 200 pencils? Well, we know how many she has. She has 130, right? That's how many she bought. Like from up here in our other one. We know that's 130. Because it's 13 boxes, that's 13 tens. And we figured that out in the first one. 13 tens. That's 130 pencils. So she has 130 already. That's how many she bought. And she's going to need some more N for the total between the two to be 200. There's our picture. That's what we're solving for. So you can just look at this and see. It might help you to see that you're not going to add these. You can't add 200 and 130 because you'll get something even bigger. And you can tell it's going to be less. So that's just it's something that tells you that you should be subtracting. And if you do add and you check it and you see, well, whoa, that's way too big. Your picture helps you see that. There's a lot of good reasons for drawing these pictures. Uh, uh, so we need to take our total 200. Actually, our whole is 200. We're going to subtract one of the parts. <clears throat> and we've been practicing backwards counting by 10. You may remember we did a lot of that in the last homework. So here's one right here. We've got 20 tens and 13 tens. So you can think of that as 20 minus 13. It would be a lot easier than 200 minus 130, perhaps. So you're going to realize that the difference is going to be 7 tens, which is 70. Or you could do, you could draw it, you could draw it out on a number line and count it backwards. You could draw 20 tens and cross out 13 of them and count what's left. That's another picture you could draw that would help you figure it out. So she's going to need, uh, would be 70 right here. She needs 70 more, and these are pencils, to have 300. To have 200, sorry. 